Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. The A321XLR, or A321 Extra Long Range, is an aircraft that Airbus is currently studying. The A321XLR would rival Boeing's up-and-coming NMA and join up with the already existing A321 family of aircraft. Since it was first noted Airbus was studying an aircraft like this in June of this year, details on the aircraft have been scarce, with only a few small stories here and there. In turn, we've seen more airlines come out noting their interest than actual developments with the aircraft itself. However, that is to be expected with an airliner like this. In recent days though, Airbus has gradually revealed more and more about its aircraft to the public. This A321 XLR is being pitched at airlines who are looking to replace their Boeing 757s in the coming years. This XLR will be an efficient option for these carriers and will have an extended range, allowing it to operate on flights that other members of the A321 family cannot. The XLR's main feature will be its increased range over the A321LR, which holds a range of 4,000 nautical miles. The A320 family program manager, when speaking to Flight Global, said that the range could be pushed to 4,700 nautical miles on the A321XLR. Despite this added range, the notable changes from the A321LR, according to him, will be minimal, and it will be mainly the same aircraft. The main focus from this study is the fuel. It's being hinted that either CFM International or Pratt & Whitney will be powering this aircraft should the project get up and running and into the production stages. Ultimately, the only way Airbus will see it fit to launch this aircraft would be due to demand and the need for it. While airlines like JetBlue, Norwegian and Aer Lingus have all openly expressed their interest, there is still no time frame on the release of aircraft. What Airbus needs to do now is determine if there is a business case for the A321XLR. While the airlines I listed above have expressed their interest in us studying the aircraft's capabilities, the question remains that is the A321LR still just a better alternative? The A321LR would be delivered faster to carriers than that of the A321XLR and would likely come at a cheaper price. These are all factors that need to be considered, especially with the 757's life, with most carriers quickly running out. While convenience is something to consider, Boeing's movements is just as important. They are also studying their NMA, dubbed to be the 797, and are eyeing a 2019 launch, should they establish a firm business case, which could potentially see 4,000 aircraft delivered over its lifetime. If Boeing moves forward with their program, Airbus would likely need to have something like the A321XLR to combat that and rival the sales of Boeing's NMA. It's a complex yet exciting time for the two manufacturers, and also the middle of the market sector in the industry. What are your thoughts on an A321XLR? Do you believe this added 700 nautical miles of range will really benefit airlines? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning into this video of mine, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.